gardeners often find themselves in a struggle against the nibbling tendencies of deer and rabbits. These charming yet voracious creatures can wreak havoc on carefully tended landscapes, devouring foliage and flowers in their path. Fortunately, there are several plant options that are not only beautiful and vibrant, but also deter these furry foragers. In this video, we'll explore a variety of deer and rabbit resistant plants, grouping them by bloom time. Let's dig in! Let's talk about spring bloomers first. Daffodils are cheerful, trumpet-shaped flowers that signal the arrival of spring and are generally avoided by deer and rabbits due to their toxic alkaloids, just like the next plant on our list, the bleeding heart. Known for its unique heart-shaped flowers, the bleeding heart also contains alkaloids that render it unappealing to herbivores. Anemones have delicate blooms. Anemone adds elegance to both spring and fall gardens while remaining unpalatable to deer and rabbits. It prefers partial shade. Peonies have majestic blooms that are a favorite in many gardens. Their large, lush flowers come in various shades and are deer and rabbit resistant. Peonies thrive in full sun and make excellent cut flowers. Alliums have distinctive spherical blooms. They add a touch of whimsy to spring gardens. These plants deter deer and rabbits and do best in full sun. They are cousins of the onion and are beautiful purple balls of joy that bloom in the late spring and early summer in my region of zone 7. I'm ordering this one called Ambassador for my backyard nursery, which has giant flower heads that measure 8 to 10 inches across. I'm so excited, I can't even wait for them. Sweet Alyssum is an annual. It's a ground hugger with delicate white, pink, or purple flowers. Sweet Alyssum is both charming and resistant to deer and rabbits. It thrives in full to partial shade. Red Hot Pokers, also known as torch lilies, are perennials that showcase vibrant spikes of color. They thrive in full sun and are unappealing to deer and rabbits. In my region, they begin blooming in late spring, but continue until the fall, unlike peonies, alliums, and alyssum that all finish blooming and just provide foliage for the rest of the summer. Summer Bloomers Foxglove are the rebels of the garden world. These towering beauties with their bell-shaped flowers aren't just exquisite, they're also on the no thank you list for deer and rabbits. It's like having your cake and eating it too, stunning flowers that keep the furry invaders at bay. Foxgloves prefer partial shade, making them the mysterious stars of the dappled garden underworld. Just don't plant them where your children or pets can access them because they're toxic. I talk about this in more detail in the video Dangerous Beauty. I'll leave a link in the description. Lavender is renowned for its soothing fragrance and elegant spikes of flowers. Lavender is a sun-loving plant that deer and rabbits tend to avoid. Yarrow has feathery foliage and flat-topped clusters of flowers that make it a beautiful addition to the summer garden. It's a full sun lover and not favored by deer or rabbits. In some areas, yarrow can become invasive, so do some research before you plant. It appears that the white and yellow varieties are more likely to become weedy, as many of the newer pretty colors are hybridized versions of the wildflower yarrow, which also has medicinal uses. Salvia has a diverse range of colors and forms. Salvia is a magnet for pollinators while discouraging deer and rabbits, and it thrives in full sun. Catmint is an aromatic herb that boasts spikes of lavender blue flowers and is known for its resilience against deer and rabbits. It prefers full sun. Bee palm's vibrant blooms attract hummingbirds and bees while repelling deer and rabbits. Bee bombs do best with full sun. They can handle partial shade, but they won't flower as profusely. This is another perennial that can become invasive in some areas, so plant carefully. Coneflowers, including black-eyed Susans. These daisy-like flowers are a summer staple, and they're not on the menu for deer. They enjoy full sun. The jury seems to be out as to whether rabbits will eat coneflower, or black-eyed Susans. Tell me in the comments if they've eaten yours. Some articles say that 
Coneflower and Black Eyed Susans are not eaten by rabbits, but others say that rabbits will eat them, especially when they're young plants. Mine have not gotten eaten, but I have these too. Verbena has cascading clusters of blossoms that adorn their plants throughout summer, and their unappealing taste keeps deer and rabbits at bay. Full sun is ideal for verbena. Some verbena are toxic for pets, as is the next plant on our list, lantana. Lantana's clusters of colorful flowers provide long-lasting interest and are known to be deer and rabbit resistant. This plant prefers full sun and will bloom from spring until frost as an annual in colder regions or nearly year-round as a perennial in warmer climates. Incorporating a mix of these deer and rabbit resistant plants into your garden can help ensure your efforts are not in vain. Remember to consider the specific sunlight requirements of each plant and create a harmonious and thriving landscape. From spring to summer and into the fall, these plants will not only bloom beautifully, but will also provide a fortress against hungry wildlife, allowing you to enjoy your garden's splendor without worry. Thanks so much for watching today. Please leave a comment. I always look forward to hearing from you.